Chandrayaan made a fabulous descent on the moon yesterday. So after the, this uh, magnificent uh, descent, what happens? What does this Chandrayaan 3 does? So Chandrayaan 3 lander also has an another component called a rover within it. So this rover has also rolled out yesterday. It is on the uh, floor of the moon uh, already. So along with the Pragyan, the lander will also continue to do some scientific analysis through the detectors or the scientific instruments that it has. Lander has about four scientific instruments which does study the quakes on the moon and also the temporal variations on the surface of the moon and also it studies the mineralogical composition and also the uh, chemical composition of the moon soil. Then it also can, the one of the scientific instrument can also measure the accurate distance between the earth and the moon and also the distance between the orbiter and the lander. So it can be used to communicate uh, to the orbiter. So in the lander, there are two scientific instruments. One looks at the chemical composition and the other one looks at the radiation, the moon surface emits. So these are the studies that it will continue to do for another 14 days where the sunlight will be available in this area. So once this 14 days gets over, the area becomes dark, there will be no sunlight. So the solar panels that these two lander and the rover carries, they will not be able to produce the electric current which, which is used for working of these scientific instruments. So the instruments become still. So they will not be any more used. And later, after 15 days of darkness, once again when the, the day of the moon happens in this area, so there, there is a possibility that the solar panel again continues to generate electricity, which will be used to make this scientific instrument available for further scientific studies.